Hey guys, Awakening Animations here and just another quick substance painter tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I just want to go through the new feature with blending height maps. It's really cool and once again I've got a very low poly mesh here. Um, let's just check the wireframe quickly. So there we go, this is my mesh. Um, really, really simple. And yeah, so I've got some UVs, of course, here, otherwise we wouldn't be able to be in substance, so ah, here's my UV layout. Okay, perfect, so let's get this going. Um, first thing we want to do here is come to the tessellation and displacement in the shader settings. Let's take this height bar. It's going to be really a lot, we don't need that much, but that's fine, and let's drag this subdivision counts up to the max there okay so that's that's it so once again i've got some materials here from substance source so just google substance source and grab some free materials if you want to follow along um, so yeah the one i got here is called iceland grassy cliff it's a base material and let's just bring that into my shelf here and there we go so let's bring this guy up first here and see what we've got with this so here um, we can already see our tessellation happening if I bring this down okay Okay, so there's no tessellation here at the moment. Um, what should I be doing? Ah, we don't have a height here, that's why. So once we set the heights up, things go quite crazy here. Really cool though, I mean, we get this detail from nothing. I mean, all I've got is a plane here. Of course, there's some subdivisions on this, but that's really cool if you ask me um first thing i want to do here is remove this grass if i can um normal format should be open gel that's my project settings already things look a bit better and yeah so i want to add some wetness here because I'm going to blend this with the water map and growth that might be our grass okay yeah so maybe we can keep a bit of that why not since we're going to be adding water in here okay so the first thing I'm going to mix in here is some moss um, so I want to make my intensity here better um, where are you here so let's take this down to 0.05 and that's that's not enough um, i'm not happy with that so let's just start cranking this up here so maybe that's more what i'm looking for at the moment that's really nice um cool so the next thing i want to blend here is some moss so let's search moss we have got iceland moss let's use it drop it on top here um, so first things it's going to cover everything okay um, moss coverage leaf density snow amount no snow amount please moss coverage to the max we only want to see our moss here. Why are we still seeing rocks? But whatever, let's keep that rock thingy there. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to add this add mask with height combination. So this is new and here. Yeah. yeah. So we're already getting some results here. We can see our moss is integrating with our bottom material. So just to show you guys that. And yeah, so 
the way this kind of works now is what we can do is drop uh, levels on this guy and just change it to height of ground height over here and yeah this is where things start to get interesting because Or not. Nothing's happening here. Should it be on you? I'm not sure. So this is changing. There we go. So here you can see how we're getting this effect. Where we can really blend in our height maps. And so when we do this, we kind of going more higher. And I think if we drop in a levels on this guy and work with his height. We should be able to get this kind of effect here as well. Okay, so maybe we want something like that to start off with. And I haven't played with this too much, but I have a feeling if I do this, and I maybe want to create water here so let's go to a kind of I don't know some weird water color um, um, give it some height here to start off with roughness a lot okay and I want to try and add this on top here as well so yeah but what I want to do with this guy is I want to add a paint okay let's go to its height okay so I did this completely wrong with this layer um, but you guys see what I'm trying to get here. So let's remove this guy. Uh, I'm idiots. Just delete it. Let's add a paint layer here. So with our paint layer, we're gonna add this height mask. Oof, kitty, please. And now I'm going to add paint here, and I should be able to set my brush parameters here so here now we can get to our color quickly with this kind of blue here give it a little bit of height super rough just so we can get this idea here and let's start painting kind of here where our water is going to be So yeah, maybe there's some water coming through here, a little bit around here somewhere. And okay, that was a stupid stroke. But anyway, you guys see what I'm getting at here. Here we just painted out some water, we've got some moss, and we've got no stupid cats. We've got all control here with these things. So here we should have used the paint layer, did I not? Was I painting? Yes, I wasn't painting on the right thing, but anyway, 
Um, and yeah, so here at the end, we can come and edit some of these things to get less moss maybe on these rocks, something like that. Just add a little bit more. And there we go. That's the kind of effect we're getting. And the great thing about this is we can just go into iRay here and do a really nice render. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as well. I really like the new features in Substance. Um, in Substance Designer, you can create basic little procedural things that can be used in crazy ways in Substance Painter. So I'll be back with some more Substance and Blender tutorials in the future. Please leave a like and any suggestions on future tutorials. Um, yeah, I'll get right to doing it.